Hey guys, let's do the 2017 pay box. So June 2017. Uh, let's just get right, right to it. So the first question says express this number to the nearest 10. Okay, so this number you read it is 68.975 to the nearest 10. Um, put A. So you just identify the um, digit that represents tens. So it's this one. And then you investigate how the next digit affects this. And then you'd get what? You'd get 70. Okay. So the B part, the B part to the nearest tenth, 10 and tenth are different. Tenth digit is this one here. So how does the next digit affect this? You have to round up. But then when you round up, this becomes 10. So we carry for the, the other one here, so it becomes 69.0, okay? So this one was the tricky part, because if you increase 9 by, by 1, since this one is greater than 5, if you increase this one by 1, it becomes 10, and then you have to carry over one set here. But then some people, they would write it as 69. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to write it as 69.0. Because you, when they say nearest tenth, you have to have the tenth decimal place. Okay, the tenth decimal place. And um, to one significant figure, you first identify the first significant figure. The first significant figure is this. And then you identify how the next figure uh, I influence this. So this one would become seven. And then we'd have seven zero. This zero is non significant. We'll put it there for um, maths to make sense, but then it's non-significant. This one, it would be one significant figure, okay? Question two asks us to find the exact value of 0 0.04 multiplied by 0 0.3. So you, you just multiply the numbers. So 4 times 3, you get 12, okay? Then you have to identify how many uh, decimal places you have. So you have three decimal places. So that would mean that you'd uh, need to have a zero here, then a comma, such that you have three decimal places here. Okay. The number of decimal places for 0 0.04, it's two. The number of zero uh, places for 0 0.3, it's one. So that's why we get uh, three decimal places. Then simply four times three, then we get 12. So one point, uh, next one says 1.44 divided by 0 0.09 mm. this paper was full of um, primary school stuff so 0 0.09 we multiply by 100 over 100 okay we do this to eliminate decimal places so uh, in the in the in the denominator only we were concerned all about the denominator not the numerator the numerator would have to I multiply by 100 as well so that we can maintain the value okay so 9 into 9 that's uh, 1 9 into 4 tens 1 and what and 5 9 into 54 that's what that's 6 okay so you actually get 16 here then this minus 1.8 Seven two. What you do here is you have to identify direct numbers. You have to identify which one is bigger in terms of size. When you ignore the signs, which one is bigger? Obviously, it's one point zero seven two. This one is going to dominate. It means that this this sign of the number we have the sign of the bigger size number. In our case, ignoring the dominator, the uh, signs at the one point seven two. Then after you put minus, you simply subtract. Okay. Now it will be 1.72 minus 0 0.89, like this. And here you would have uh, 3, I think. You would mutate to 9. So you'd have 17 more, more minus 9. Then you get 8, then 0. So it'd be minus 0 0.83. So direct numbers, different signs. So we apply the different signs with the different signs who says answer takes the sign of the bigger sized number when you ignore the signs so the bigger size number was 1.72 and we say 1.72 minus 0 0.89 then we simply get this let's quickly move to question three 
Question 3 says evaluate you have uh, 2 to the power 1.6 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 0.4. So you have to apply laws of indices here. So it'd be 1.6 plus 0 0.4. If the bases are the same and you're multiplying, that means you can add the indices. Okay. So 1.6 plus 0 0.4, you get 2. Let's move to the B part. The B part says 12 over 27 to the power negative 3 over 2. I think they wanted to trick you here, but uh, anyway, uh, what you're supposed to do here is to recognize that this is not in its lowest term. Okay, so we can start by adjusting that. 3 is a factor. So you get 4 over 9 here to the power negative 3 over 2. After this, get rid of the negative sign. When you have a fraction, you get rid of the negative sign in the power by flipping the sign. So the numerator becomes the denominator, the denominator becomes the numerator. Then it becomes the power 3 over 2. Then after this, write your big squared sign. Then you have 9 over 4 here. Write your big brackets. You have 3 here. The numerator is the power and the denominator is the, is the root. So 2 means second root, means square root. So square root of um, 9 is what? It's 3. Square root of uh, 4 is uh, it's 2. These, they are, they are 2 months. Okay, okay. So it's okay. So to the power 3, you get 3 to the power 3 over 2 to the power 3, which is equal to 27 over 8. Okay. 27 over 8. That's That would be your answer. Let's quickly move to question 4. Question 4 says solve this equation. Um, here, we can see that we have 4 entries. When you expand this, when you expand this, you actually have 4 entries. So you can think of it as someone is solving this, trying to factorize, and then they fail, they just stop midway. So you're supposed to take over that. How do we know that? Just because we can have a matching bracket for this one. When you work out as many uh, questions as you can, at some point you start noticing some of those things. When you factor out negative, then you get x minus minus 3. So practice, practice, practice. So this one's the brackets they have matched. So that means they can be a bracket of their own. This one and this one, they become x and minus 1 here. Then x minus 3 here equal to 0. So you say x minus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 or 3 like this and then obviously you're done so this is how you solve you solve the equation don't expand if you expand you have to factorize again and then you have to go through uh, some of the steps okay so don't factor just inspect and then see whenever there is four entries usually in factorization when they say solve or when they say factorize Usually what it means is that you have to match the brackets. Okay, let's quickly move to question 5. Question 5 says express 6 minutes uh, to 8 at night as a time in 24-hour notation. So 6 minutes to 8 would be 7. Then it means uh, uh, 6 minutes to, to 8. It means that 7, 6 minutes before 60. So it means 7.54, okay? PM, but then you want it in 24 hour notation. So you increase this by, by 12. So this becomes 19. In 24 hour notation, this becomes 1954. Okay. 1954 hours. This. So you just, uh, if it's PM, you increase by, by 12 always. Then 43.35 hours in hours and minutes. So already 50, 43, you know that this, those are the hours. So 0 0.35 minutes, that's what you want to, to determine. So it's actually 0 0.35 hours. This fraction is what you want to get the equivalent in uh, for in terms of uh, minutes. So this would become 35 over 100 multiplied by, so this one was hours. So you can even write the units if you want. So hours multiplied by what? 60. 
60 watt minutes per, per hour. These ones they cancel. So you multiply by 60 here. So here they cancel 2 into 10, that's 5. 2 into um, 6, that's 3. 5 into 5, 1. 5 into this, you get 7. 7 multiplied by 3, you get 21 minutes. Okay. Therefore, 43.35 hours is 43 hours 21 minutes okay then that's it you're done so in the next um video we'll look at uh, the next five questions so stay tuned and i hope that you subscribe like and share cheers for now you out